Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So I've got my Galaxy Nexus here. Guess what ROM I'm running? It's the MiUi ROM. Um, this one is really cool. You can really customize it to your liking. Um, I've had this ROM on my, all of my other phones, most of my other phones. Um, but I like it on my Galaxy the best. Uh, Galaxy Nexus the best because it keeps a lot of the ICS stuff uh, with MIUI um, customization. You get a bunch of toggles there. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do. Uh, one of the coolest thing about MIUI is that you can change uh, themes. You can get free themes. There's thousands and hundreds of themes. Uh, let me switch it from this theme here. Um, let me try that one. Oops. So this one I think is actually stock, is it stock? Yeah. So I'm going to switch it back to stock here. And uh, it's a great way if you're really into theming, if you really want to customize your Galaxy Nexus to the next level, this is definitely the way to go um, because it can give you a whole lot of themes. And uh, as far as the UI, um, it's completely different from all the other ROMs because you get the MUI. Um, user interface which is sort of like iPhone you get like limited screens and the apps get edit but you can also ma uh, make a bunch of screens and also you get that search button kind of like an iPhone you get an extra little button here you have access to a bunch of stuff um, you can also get a bunch of free wallpapers which is cool go to desktop wallpaper go to online wallpaper and you can choose from thousands of free wallpapers and this is what's stored on your phone um, I don't. I didn't really like it for my other ROMs because most of the time the MIUI, MIUI didn't have 4G working. But this one's supposed to on the the LTE CDMA version for Verizon, so you should be all good to go. And for the GSM version, I have no problems at all right now. So it's pretty cool. And when you change the theme, it, it also changes the lock screen. So I have, I can get a bunch of different new lock screens. It's really cool. And uh, let me show you settings here. And the settings are a little bit different. Um, you get common settings, complete settings. And uh, let's see. You can also go to mobile networks. One of the coolest features of this ROM is that you can actually change uh, type selection. Um, I usually prefer to uh, prefer at 3G preferred. Um, but when you uh, on the stock or AOS, AOSP ROMs, you won't have this um, selection. It will automatically select the auto mode, which is GSM slash WCDMA. And it, if you're on T-Mobile, it'll drop you like, you know, drop you to edge all the time, which sucks. But you can choose 3G preferred here or 3G only, um, so you get HSPA signals all the time. I've actually got my AT&T SIM card on here, and uh, let me actually turn off my Wi-Fi here, and it should go on my HSPA for. Uh, or AT&T there. So let me show you the browser. So you get a slightly different browser there. And uh, well, it's kind of the same. It's pretty cool ROM. Betty Force Center. Oh, who looked that up? <laughs> um, so I hope you, none of you guys need a rehab from getting too high on Android. Um, and uh, you get a bunch of more stuff on this thing. You get a clock, MIUI clock. Everything's MIUI here, um, so it's kind of cool. Let me see. Using weather. All right. Now I'm, I'm inside. It's not gonna like our location right now. Navigation maps. What is navigation? Oh, the school navigation. Sorry. Here we go, we got File Explorer app, MIUI File Explorer app, and uh, also let's check out Gallery real quick. This is basically um, your photos, there you go, and Calendar, it's got its own calendar I think, Sadie, yeah, no that's just pretty much ASP. Um, so it's, it's a very nice ROM. You're gonna love it, love the toggles, and uh, very highly customizable. Again, really the 
The coolest feature about this ROM is that you can theme it any way you like it. Um, so it's really for those themers out there. And uh, I think I'm going to actually kick it with this one because I, I wanted to use MIUI on my other ROMs, but 4G was always not supported. They never developed 4G for the ACC Evo 3D and the 4G. Um, but this one works flawless, so definitely check it out. And uh, my phone is still looking like day one. Um, highly recommend it. And if you have a Galaxy Nexus, don't forget to sign up for our email list at galaxynexusroot.com. We update you once or twice a week with ROMs of the week, tips and hacks and more. And uh, just for you and me, I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button, share it, favorite, and uh, also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have. Thanks. And uh, um, I'm going to get higher on Android, folks. And don't forget to stay high on Android. And don't go to Betty Ford Clinic because you got too high. All right. Get high responsibly. All right. See y'all.